Welcome everybody. It's good to see you. Hello everyone. Welcome to Irvington Presbyterian Church's Messy Church. Typically we meet the first Tuesday of every month for our big messy gathering, but for obvious reasons we will not be doing that this month. So instead we are going to bring you Messy Church at Home for Holy Week. And that will feature actually five different mini Messy Church sessions that you can do at home with things that you hopefully just have on hand and around. And it will feature a video every single time of our celebration time as well as some activities that you can do to really engage hands-on in the story and learn a little bit more about it. And then finally it will include some discussion questions that you can talk about with other people in your household or other friends who are interested in Messy Church as well. So for today, hopefully you have also seen the list of activities. Uh, most of those activities you can either do before you watch the celebration video or after. Um, either is fine, with one exception, and that is before you listen to the celebration video, you need to have made your palm branch. So if you have not done that yet, go ahead and pause your video and go find the instructions and use whatever you've got and be really creative and make your palm branches. And when you've got that, then you need palm branches and you also need coats for celebration time. So again, if you need to pause the video, go grab some coats and bring those back when you are ready. So, once everybody has their palms and their coats, you are ready for our celebration time. Let's start by singing our celebration song. Listen to the word that God has spoken. Listen to the one who is close at hand. Listen to the voice that began creation. Listen even if you don't understand. Okay, our story from the Bible today is from Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. This is the reading for Palm Sunday. And I'm not going to read it word for word from the Bible, but I do invite you, if you have Bibles at home or if you can look it up on the internet, to uh, do that and read the story as printed. Um, but I'm just going to kind of tell a version of it. Make sure you have your palms and your coats ready. So, Jesus and his friends arrived to Jerusalem, which was the big city in the area where Jesus lived. And Jesus told two of his friends to go into the city and that they would find a young donkey tied up. And they were to take this donkey and bring it to Jesus. And if anybody said anything, hey, what are you doing? That's my donkey. They were to just say, the Lord needs this. And that it would be okay. So two of Jesus' friends went into the city and sure enough, they found the donkey tied up just like he'd said. And so they took it and they brought it to Jesus. And they spread their coats on this donkey and Jesus rode into the city on this donkey. Now a word about donkeys, if you're not familiar with this animal, if you've never seen a donkey, donkeys are not impressive, magnificent animals. Donkeys are not the animals that important people rode in Jesus' day. Kings and warriors rode horses. Donkeys were more like minivans. They were the kind of animal that normal everyday people might take if they were going on a long trip and wanted some help carrying their belongings or wanted to be able to sit down once in a while and not have to walk. So donkeys, not that impressive. But Jesus rides into town on this donkey. And as he's coming in, a crowd starts to gather because people had heard about Jesus. They had heard about the things that he was teaching and the miracles that he had performed and the people that he had healed. And they were excited that Jesus was coming back to their city. And no doubt they wondered what kinds of things he might say and do there and if he might perform a miracle for them even. They didn't know, but they were excited. So these crowds gather, and they are waving branches. So go ahead and wave your branches. They're waving branches, and they're yelling, Hosanna! Hosanna! Which means, save! Oh, save! And also could mean, yay! Yay! 
So they're waving their branches and they're yelling, save us, yay! And they're really excited. So the people were waving their branches and as Jesus came, they were throwing their branches down on the road in front of him and they were taking off their coats and they were throwing their coats down on the road in front of him and they were making this grand parade for Jesus to walk over their coats and their palm branches as he entered the city. And they were all on the sides of the streets cheering for him. And as Jesus came into the town, he saw people at his beloved temple buying and selling and changing money. And he got very angry and he flipped over the tables and he yelled at them. And this upset the religious leaders. They saw what Jesus is doing. They saw the fuss that he was making and the commotion that he was causing. And they didn't like it. And they got very, very angry. That ends our celebration story for today for Palm Sunday. As you can tell, it's a little bit of a cliffhanger, so we will hear more of the story as the week goes on and find out more of what happens. After our story, um, we typically spend some time in prayer. For our prayer time today, I am going to offer um, just some general categories and I invite you to either speak out loud or just name in your hearts um, any people or events that fall into those categories. Let us pray. Dear God, we pray for people who are afraid and for events that are scary. God, we pray for people who are disappointed or sad or grieving. We pray for things that we've been looking forward to that we won't get to do. Lord, we pray for people who are excited or celebrating for events that are happy and joyful and good. Lord, we pray for those who are sick, physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, for those who are struggling or lonely. Lord, we pray for the helpers in our families, in our communities, and around the world. Even though we might be physically distant, we are connected now more than ever. We pray for the people who help. Lord, we lift to you any other matters that are on our hearts or on our minds today. We lift them up to you, Lord, confident that you know what we need even more than we do sometimes. We lift all these things to you. Amen. And finally, we close with the Lord's Prayer in word and in gesture. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Kingdom and the power and the glory forever.